rather in than me. <gasps> now, about watches. I'm a shocker for timekeeping, but now they've given me a wristwatch that never needs winding up, so they tell me. It works, apparently, on the principle of a thermocouple. Now, if you touch any two different metals together, you get a tiny, instantaneous current, like so. You see? See it showing up on the ammeter? That's the meter that measures the amps, you see. But to get a larger current, you need more junctions and much more heat. So if I put this Bunsen burner under this gadget, it should generate a larger current on the ammeter. Now, see, you watch the ammeter and see... Oh, there you are, you see? It's going up, isn't it? Marvellous, isn't it? You see, basically, the difference in atomic structure between two metals causes a current to flow if two or more junctions are held at a different temperature. Unfortunately, thermocouples aren't very efficient. This gadget's converting less than 15% of the Bunsen's heat into electricity. So the makers of this watch decided to use semiconductors instead of ordinary metals. Each of the four tiny thermocouples in here is a pile of 352 separate junctions. The watch case itself is part of the thermocouple. The back of it is worn by my wrist. The thermocouples, here you can see two of them, supply power to a minute battery which then powers the watch movement. And of course the battery stores enough power to run the watch even when it's not being worn. Now, I've arranged to have this watch wired up to an ammeter here. And let's see what happens when I put it on my wrist. Oh, goodness, look at all those microamps I'm generating. Mm. Oh, think what you could do if these things were stuck all over you. The mind boggles. <laughs>